So let's take a look at user forms uh, again. Um, looking at a little different perspective now, we're adding in these checkboxes. So up here, we can type something in these three. We can choose one or the other, but not both. We can pick one, but not multiple. But here, we can have multiple entries. We can choose to have all of these pets. So when we were looking at our results page, we were expecting to have one entry for each of these, one for first name, one for last name, one for email, one for state, um, and gender. But when, we looking, when we're looking at pets, we could have multiple pets coming across in that query string. So we have to figure out how to handle that. And I'm actually not going to handle that up here in the Java. I'm going to come down here and handle it. So let me add another row in here for the pets. And instead of an expression, I'm going to actually add Java in here. Now, notice when we're setting up the checkbox. I'm just using HTML5. It's an input type checkbox. They all have the same name. This group all has the same name of pet, but they have different values. And then this is what is displayed. So I can expect pet to come across in that query string. So since I can have more than one come across, it's going to be an array. Uh, so I need to create a string array. Um, and I'm going to call it selected pets. Okay, so I've created the array and I've named it. And now I'm just going to create uh, well, actually, I need to get the I need to get the request. So these are going to be a little bit different. Up here, we were getting uh, re, uh, get parameters. Uh, here, we're going to get parameter values. So I'm going to fill the array. going to fill this array that I created uh, from the parameter values pet. Now that I've got my array filled, I need to loop through it and then dump it back out. So the first thing I'm going to do is just make sure it's not null. And if it's not null, then I'm going to create a loop. So I'm going to create a uh, counter of i and set it to 0. And then as long as that counter is less than the number of the selected pets, Thing I want to do is increment i. I'll put a space in there, and then I'm going to add the array. add the array of the address that I'm in. And I'm going to add to that another space. All right, so if it's not null, then I'm going to loop through the array. And for every pet in the array, I'm going to have a space and then the name of that pet that was in that array address and then a blank after that. And then it would be on the second one, there'd be a blank and then the name of that pet, 
and then on a third one there would be a blank, so it would look like that. Uh, but if it is null, I'm going to just put out none. And I need to clean up my Java here. So I'm just using a Java loop inside of the page is all I'm doing in an array. So let's save this and let's test it. So now I should be able to pass multiple values back. Catfish and none. Looks like I've got a uh, logic error here. And my logic is right here, or, or my error is right here. Um, so if it's not null, it's going to do that. It's going to print out none. Okay, let's try this. There, looks better. And again, I can pass information back here. First is Mike and pet is dog and pet is horse. And I can see that it changes. So when we're using drop down boxes, if there's multiple selections, we'll have to create the array and loop through the array in order to grab them all and then be able to display them out.